Hey everyone, Josh here. So today we're doing a video on the CJAA TDI here again. Two codes that are coming up, so P2002 and P0401. Uh, the P2002 is the DPF efficiency below threshold and the P0401 is EGR insufficient flow. So these two codes together are not good. I noticed when I was getting the DPF over to check the turbo, um, I might be having some issues. Sadly, it doesn't run right now or doesn't run very well. So we can't really do diagnostics on um, using VCDS, but there's a pretty quick and easy way, good old fashioned way of checking it. So the DPF and EGR use two differential sensors. So basically it picks up the pressure before the DPF and after the DPF, and there should be a pressure differential. If the pressure differential is too low, it means um, exhaust is getting through too easy. So meaning soot's getting through. So it's a good chance you have a cracked DPF. So a quick and easy way to see. You walk to the back here. So first off, there's soot on the back. So that's pretty quick and easy tell. So a car with a DPF, that should be clean. That sh you shouldn't have any soot on your finger testing it there. Um, one other spot you can check. Underneath the car here. Uh, the DPF is way up there, and where this pipe is undone, uh, sorry for the audio here, but where this pipe is undone is your low pressure EGR filter, and that's the inlet into your cooler, as you can see in this area. So this should be clean here as well, which it's not really. So what's happening is that DPF up there is cracked, and it's letting soot through. And it's ending up blocking this filter so we're going to take this filter off and take a look at it and then i'll uh, go over how the low pressure and the high pressure egrs work okay so we're inside here now with my spare engine so with that dpf crack that's what's causing that p2002 code there's not enough of differential pressure between here and after the dpf so that dpf is going to have to be replaced uh, it can't be clean because cleaning doesn't really fix cracks <laughs> Up next, we're going to do the P0401. So these TDIs have a high pressure and a low pressure EGR system, which is kind of cool. And the high pressure is just like your traditional older TDIs that we have here. Um, it feeds off of the turbo manifold right where this blocker plate is. It's a little pipe that comes around. And then where this race pipe is, the EGR valve should be sitting there. So you just feed EGR right into the intake, just like the old cars here. Um, the issue with that is you need a higher exhaust pressure than boost pressure to actually get exhaust gas in there. So I guess in Volkswagen's infinite wisdom, they made this low pressure EGR system. Here's that filter, which would bolt like this on the cooler and it's picking up nice clean exhaust gas because the dpf should clean it before this filter the issue is once it's cracked this filter gets plugged full so i'm going to switch and see if i can't get a picture of inside of here it's that really really fine mesh so obviously it's letting some soot through but i imagine the bottom side's probably plugged a lot more but I can't really see that without cutting it. So this low pressure EGR works really good for getting lots of exhaust gases into your intake, as well as condensation. That's where you end up with the intercooler icing and hydrolock issues. Um, yeah, <laughs> goes through that filter. The low pressure is cooled through the cooler. The high pressure isn't. The high pressure is just fed straight into the intake. But yeah, it basically goes through your cooler through your valve and then you have this nice little pipe feeds it in here which is just low pressure feeding it into the turbo so that way Volkswagen or I guess the EPA can <laughs> get as much EGR in there as you need to make sure that the NOx is reduced so the issue with that P40 P0401 is strictly this filter getting plugged from yeah, the broken DPF so hopefully this video kind of helped lay out uh, what causes both these codes and where everything is and how everything's kind of connected. Stay tuned for some more CJAA TDI videos. I've got a few once I get these lawnmowers out of here. So again, yeah, thanks for watching.